Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at the hardness of their heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. You know, this is, uh, this is just messed up. <laughs> I mean, you have Jesus who's healing and curing people and casting out demons, and because he's doing so on the Sabbath, the people of the time decided that they were going to conspire to kill him. I can only imagine the amount of fear and anger they must have felt. And honestly, it's not that much different than today. I, I can recall stories where I've heard fellow Christians, even myself on occasion, who we've looked at someone speaking the word and sharing it, and because they looked different or were saying it in a different way or had a different perspective, even though they were still proclaiming the gospel, proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, they were met with anger and fear. Fear that it would lead people astray, anger that they would become the centerpiece of a voice to listen to rather than someone else. The other thing that strikes me here is how God gives. God gives completely. Not only did he give to the man with the withered hand and he cured him, but he also had love. He gave love to the Pharisees. Because it said there, Jesus watched closely to see, they watched Jesus closely to see if they would cure, on, if he would cure on the Sabbath. And Jesus, you know, he, 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 he had compassion for those, the Pharisees who were going to turn around and, and, and conspire to kill him. He did look at them with anger, but he grieved at the hardness of their hearts. I know I feel the same way with my children when I see them arguing over a toy or a video game or whatever, you know. They, I just want to see them get along, and I think that's what God wants. He just wants to see us get along. He wants us to love each other because he knows we'll become better people if we love each other. And God is love. You know, I, I read yesterday about how God is love, and so if we love one another, not only are we taking care of each other but we are also taking care of each other in God because God is in is love and so when we are in love with each other and acting in love with each other we are in essence kind of in God with each other God gives so much God gives all I I read also yesterday about how uh, you know God gave himself completely God became man and he went through so much. He was perfect in every way. Jesus, when he came to earth, he was fully divine and fully human and gave of himself completely. Even though that he was perfect and without sin, he endured all that pain of his passion. Everything from the betrayal and his disciples turning their backs on him to having the nails driven into his hands and being spit upon and being mocked as he stood there, hung there, naked on the cross. 
So what am I to do? What would Jesus do? Well, I'm not a perfect man by any means, but I know what maybe I should strive for today and going forward until till I know better if I'm wrong. I'm going to love completely like God loves completely. God lets the sun shine on sinners, on evildoers, just as he does saints. So when I meet those who do not approve of me, I shall still not love them nonetheless. When I meet people I don't approve of, because I am concerned and worried, I need to make sure that I'm not judging, because it's not my job to judge. And then thereafter, I should love completely. And sometimes, maybe that'll mean saying something or doing something, but more often than not, it will probably mean just doing loving things in small ways. Jesus didn't put on a big show when he cured that withered hand, at least not that I read here. He merely asked the man to stretch it out and he cured him. So I guess maybe it's my job to go forth simply and just love simply in simple ways. I don't know. That's all I got to say about that.